Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my name is Mangs. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm drinking Red Bull to stay awake. If I look like a corpse, it's because I feel like a corpse. I've been uh, <laughs> up for way longer than I should. I am joined here by none other than Stevie from Lucky Crit. Um, if you follow his channel, which you really should, by the way, uh, you might remember that I did a uh, quick guest appearance on his channel talking about the uh, Fire Emblem 16 leaks. And this time around, I have invited Stevie over to my channel. Uh, hi there, Stevie. Nice to have you. Here. Great to be here, Mangs. Can't wait to talk about it. Guys, uh, we are going to be going over the recent Heroes news. Uh, a big stream recently dropped. We're going to be going over it in the or uh, order that it was shown. And me and Stevie, we're going to give our opinions. We're not going to go super in-depth. We're not going to sit there for an hour. Uh, we're just going to go over these uh, events one by one. So, Stevie, new units. Let's talk about the new units. We got Dorcas, Loot, Joshua, and Mia. Are you hyped? Yes, got some meme units right there. <laughs> you literally memed Orcas into heroes. Is that wonderful? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, which which uh, which of these are you most excited for? Any any favorites here? I you know I was probably waiting for loot. I think the most. I didn't take a look at the stats just yet. I did see that people were leaking them from the data mine stuff, but I'm mm. I'm super hyped. I know um, Joshua has the Odd Halma, the legendary sword. I don't think the others got legendary weapons, so I hope they're like good. Not game-breaking, but good. That's all I'm hoping. Yeah. Dorcas has a built-in distant counter in his axe, I saw. I did so, see somebody saying that, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he's. I think he's going to be pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, I, I love it. I mean, it's about time we got some Sacred Stones units in, in, in here. Because, uh, Jesus Christ, that game has been overlooked in the Heroes department. I think yeah. it's, like, the least represented game in Heroes. If I'm not, like, I Don't quote me on this, but I think it's the case. Um, Radiant Dawn, we only have Sanaki so far. I can oh, see right, why. Okay. Yeah, I can see why they're waiting on that one because you know they could still go through Path of Radiance a bit further first. But yeah. Mm. So yeah, the new units. I am super excited. Uh, you know, I, I love all of these units. I really do. All of these units are units that are dear to me. I think I made uh, I made spotlights on two out of the four. So you know, maybe maybe a Dorka spotlight is imminent. Uh, oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna have to come. Probably, at some yeah, probably point. a good idea right now while everybody's hyped about Dorcas. Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, let's move on from those units. Uh, guys, I'm going to be making a separate video later on where I review the units in more detail, but we just want to rush through the uh, news and talk about them. So let's talk about the second point uh, staves getting a boost. You got any thoughts on that? The uh, five star healers now getting new and upgraded staves? Absolutely stoked about this i was like so concerned about this for so long because i think that the last healer unit that we actually got in the game was bride lynn and that was i don't know like six months ago or something like that it was really really bad like even intelligent systems knew that healer units were garbage <laughs> so i think they just kind of stopped <laughs> making them for a while <laughs> so yeah um i hope they're more relevant that's all i'll say yeah for sure. yeah st staves finally getting some love it's about time i recently upgraded my my four star chlorine to a five star chlorine merely oh. i'm a bit of a weird i'm a i'm a bit of a per perfectionist when it comes to heroes when i have a main team i want them all to be five star units i feel dirty for using like four star units mm -hmm. so so i spent twenty thousand feathers just to get her color changed because she didn't <laughs> get much out of it stat wise and people were so annoyed with me ha ha <laughs> who's laughing now huh <laughs> Pro probably still them, but still, I, 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 I'm going to get my new and upgraded Chlorine, and I'm super hyped. It's about time. I will say, though, I'm a little bit disappointed that Dagger units didn't get any love this time around. What's up with that? Like, mm -hmm. we, we know that Dagger units... I mean, we got Sakura recently, who's amazing, but why didn't we get... Why didn't, why didn't they, like, give Dagger units a boost? Do you, I'm do you thinking... Think? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be a part of the refinery system, because I did see mm. um, Jafar's Dagger in there, for sure, so... Maybe that will help him out. I, I don't know. We'll That's true. See. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk about the refinery later. But yeah, that that could be a good point. All right. So the next point: cool, countdown on all skills have been reduced, and uh, yeah, a bunch of skills getting their countdown lowered by one. And to me, this seems to me like they just they just went over the skills. They probably can see what skills are being used. And they basically mm. probably saw just the same skills all the time. And then they looked at the skills that were underused, and they just reduce them by one. That that seems to be what they're doing. This seems like a purely a balance change. You just want to see more skills being used. I don't know yep. if you, you have any thoughts on that. Absolutely agree, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Even like Glimmer and stuff is now down to two charges, so I kind of hope that maybe we'll see some new interesting skills instead of just like Moonbow meta, you know, unless you have like yeah. <laughs> high res or high defense for some of the other skills. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a bit samey, right? Now you run into the same skills all the time. And yep. it's gonna be nice to see some of the other skills being utilized more. Because, you know, some of these skills with like four or five uh, charges, you know, it's just too much. You know, it's just, they're not gonna be worth it with like the quick meta. Everything's like, now, 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 now. You want the quick damage now, now, now. You don't have time to wait five turns for a skill. Yeah. So, you know, this I'm very, I'm very stoked about this. We might be able to see one, some of those underutilized skills that has that have been left by the wayside for a pretty long while. Um, all right. Uh, anyway, let's go over to the next point, which is the expanded barracks. And this is, to me, I don't know if you agree with this, this is just fan service. Like, it's just, hey, you know, here's 100 extra slots, you don't have to pay orbs for them. Good on you, Intelligent Systems. This is, this is just like, and, and the same with the next uh, change, it's just, thank you. They're just being nice to their fans, which I think is very admirable. They're not just milking them. Mm -hmm. I actually have some experience with this, because, I mean, I've spent some money in the, on the game so far. And my barracks is definitely, like, really, really close to max. My younger brother <laughs> has not spent a single dime on the game. And his mm. barracks is actually close to max, too. And mm. he's in that kind of, like, awkward phase where he doesn't know who to get rid of, but he can't play the game because he's locked out because his barracks is full. So yeah. this, is, this is great. I'm super excited about this. I'm really glad they did that. It kind of helps solidify the idea that they actually do care about the players of the game. So I, I'm all for that. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that... Uh this change to me is, I mean, I, I, I've, I've bought orbs once and I literally have not spent a dime. I, I've decided now I'm going to be free to play. I'm not going to spend any money on the game. I actually think it's sort of like, like a cool challenge mm -hmm. to just go free to play and see how, how far you can get. And, you know, I got my 40 plus one attack boon Re Reinhardt, so I've been pretty lucky in that regard. Um, but yeah, I, I think that um, this is definitely, like, I think the fear of sending heroes home, I definitely have a lot of fear of sending heroes home because... You, you never know when a skill on that hero might suddenly become super viable. It's like, what? You sent home that unit? And mm -hmm. He has like the, one of the best skills in the game that you can like pass over to someone else. So it's nice. And uh, jumping into our next uh, point, uh, same here. Point number five, use less stamina. The, the stamina cap caps out of 10. No more paying more than 10 stamina for a mission. At least I think they said in the prologue and the main story. I'm not sure if uh, like grand hero battles are going to be capped at 10. I don't mm -hmm. think they said that. Did you yeah, no. get that? We don't, we don't know that yet, yeah. Just a story mission so far. But, so, like, still, uh, less stamina for missions. It's just some sort of fan service. Uh, you know, you can now play the game more. I think that's definitely nice of them. Because you have to think of, think of it this way, right? They are essentially giving us things for free, which they could be making money off. You mm -hmm. know, they could, they could easily not implement these changes and have people pay orbs but they choose not to. And while, of course, it's probably a trick to get you more people back into Heroes, you know, they're not doing this just to be nice. It is a marketing thing for them. I, I definitely think that the, the, the proper way to treat your fan base is to give them stuff for free and, you know, make, make them come back that way. <laughs> Let's move over to uh, the next point, which is the weapon refinery. Uh, very interesting one here. Man, this, uh, this gives me a headache, if I'm going to be completely honest. So many new ways to customize your heroes. I mean, I think Ephraim's uh, weapon had like five different upgrades. Jesus Christ, it's going to be a mess to figure all this stuff out. Yep. <laughs> what do you think of the weapon refinery? Yeah, this definitely adds a whole new layer of depth to everything. I mean, even just unit builds, now it's going to be even more specific with what upgrades you're going to have to get on the weapons. I'm, I'm kind mm. of excited, but I'm also hesitant because I'm, I'm worried that... You know, if everybody gets a weapon boost, then sort of what's the point, you know? I'm glad that mm. units like Navar are going to get a second chance to kind of upgrade their killing edge to a slaying edge and stuff like that. But if, Absolutely. like, if Reinhardt can get, like, Dire Thunder Plus or something like that, like, no, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> no, oh my Please, god, no. no, yeah. They have to They have to keep this away from the super powerful heroes and give them to the underpowered heroes. I'm sure mm -hmm. they know. I'm sure they know what heroes are underutilized. So yeah, the weapon refinery... Looks amazing, but man, it's a big headache. It's gonna be a lot of theory crafting going in here. So uh, you know, I'm I'm still sort of like getting into the deep meta game of heroes, and this like is even more to figure out now. Of course, people are gonna figure out the best builds, and just everyone's just gonna do that. But it still yeah. might allow for some flexible, uh, you know, builds, which I'm always like customization is always good in my opinion. Uh, all right, then we move on to the uh, almost last point. It's the legendary hero summoning events, and we will be able to get Ike, Daedra, Seselica, Jenny, Bright Sheeta, Easter Bunny Sander, Easter Bunny Camilla, Bright Cordelia, Brave Lynn, Ira, and Hector. And it, with an eight percent chance, there are so many heroes in here that I want. Uh, anyone here you uh, you have uh, you have in mind? 
Um, I do have an Easter Camilla that I'm super stoked about, but I was kind of sad. I was actually just thinking about this super recently too. I was like sad, like, oh man, like I'll never have her merged unless they re-release her in some fashion. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. That Hector though, I've been trying to get Hector for ages. Like he's the only hero in the game with the like inheritable distant counter. It's so good that they're finally putting on a, him on a banner. Uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, it's about time, really, and, and a chance yeah. to get Brave Lynn too, which it, I, I'm really sad. I should have picked Brave Lynn, because he would have been such a nice addition to my Horse Emblem team, but I just randomly picked Brave Ike, because I was like, Ike's cool, you know, when you got your free hero. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I was so sad when I was like, oh no, I should have picked Brave Lynn, because she would have been perfect with my Horse Emblem team. It's like, oh well, what can you do? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked for this event. 8% is really high, too. I think it's usually 5%, isn't it? Yes, and they even said in the event... Uh, description in one of the quick shots that they had that basically non focus units are going to have a 0% for 5 stars so like you're not going to get pity broken by like random characters that you don't want either mm. in this special banner so that's cool because I know a lot of people are have been super mad lately about you know getting the wrong character yeah. when they finally summon a 5 star so uh, last but not least this is huge book 2 a new cinematic new characters uh, so it's gonna be like a ice versus fire theme sort of mm -hmm. going on right here with uh, Sutr, the ruler of fire, which seems like a uh, Garon on fire, which I think is kind of funny. He's like Garon mm -hmm. if he if he lit himself on fire, and Fjorm, the princess of ice, which looks gorgeous, and uh, and I think we just gotta get it out of the way. Jesus Christ, them titties. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a reference to it, but all right, there we go. We got it out of the way. Those things are those things are massive, man. <laughs> Like, Camilla has competition right here. Who is th who is this girl? Uh, who is this girl? Will, will we be able to get her? They look like they, they might be playable. Yeah, I mean, we haven't gotten Veronica yet. I'm still kind of waiting to see if we'll get her. If we get her, oh. then I'm kind of assuming we'll probably get the other ones. But yeah, I, I don't know yet. Yeah, because because this seems like Veronica's dysfunctional family, if you ask me. They all mm -hmm. seem to be... Uh, again, I'm, I'm getting strong, like, Nor Hoshido vibes. Yeah, I say it. Funly, make fun of me, wives. I'm Norwegian, ha ha, Mang's accent. Um, I'm getting like Nor Hoshido wives here. It's even more funny that the king looks like Garen. Um, and and of course, one of the big news is that you'll get a five star Fjorm, guaranteed. That's the Ice Queen. Um, you get her, like just by beating the parallel, which I think is very generous. I wonder how good she's gonna be. Um, I think she's gonna be like another addition to the free to play heroes. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Like, I can understand them giving us another of the main, like, Ascrian main characters. I'm just kind mm. of hoping that she's not better than Sharina. Like, you, right. you saw her attack animation, right? Like, she looks... she looks good. Yeah, she... oh, yeah, I love her, love her. <laughs> yeah, e e either either she either, either she won't be that great, or, or they should maybe buff the uh, the original Asker people, because I feel like they've been kind of left yeah. behind. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love this. I'm really excited. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, the hero story sucks. It mm -hmm. really sucks. Um, yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, there's get not blown much. Away. <laughs> not much to get out of there. We all knew the the whole twist with the mysterious character and like it just yeah. It's it wasn't groundbreaking. Yeah, but at least they got some cool design and stuff like that. But I, I gotta say though, why do they keep that damn owl? It's that owl is so annoying. Am I the only one who thinks the owl is annoying? You like you don't like Faye? No. I for think the, she's really annoying. As as for like the live stream uh, voiceover, yeah. is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she's really annoying. She speaks so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, give us the news. God. Hey, they got to make it 17 minutes, don't they? No, it's, it's I gotta. guess. I guess it's just annoying. <laughs> there were some funny like cringe moments in there though. Mm. It's it's the yeah. characters. The characters growing on me. From a voiceover perspective. Maybe I'll eventually get used to her as well. All right, so that is actually all that we have for now. Um, so out of all these things, what are you most excited about, Stevie? <sighs> Probably the healer rebalance because I just I like the rebalance stuff. I like it when they fix stuff that nobody touches and nobody uses, and, and you mm. know breathes more life back into it for sure. Oh, yeah, me personally, I'm just so so excited for Dorcas to be to be honest. I might just have to break my free to play <laughs> for just a moment just to get him really because. 
my god, I can't wait to make like meme Dorcas builds. Oh, uh, yeah. Hope they get. <laughs> it's too bad we can't give him like the poison dagger. That'd be. <laughs> so I saw somebody saying giving him poison strike as his B skill. I've already seen oh, that. Oh yes! Oh my god, that's so perfect. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's all we have time for for today. Definitely go check out uh, Stevie's channel over at Lucky Crit. Uh, there will be a link in the video description as well at the end of this video. Uh, he makes some stellar content, so definitely go check him out. Uh, you can also go check out my guest appearance at his channel where we talked about Castlevania Emblem. It's not actually named that. But yeah, Stevie, it was absolutely wonderful having you on. Thank you so much for making the time. Thank you for having me. And I'm sure we'll we'll see you again. Of course. All right, like and comment, guys. Bye. <laughs>